Hello, Shelby here. Today I'm going to show you a really awesome drill. Picking the shoulder up, driving in a straight line and getting them to really prepare for the turn. So I'm going to show you on her. She's a lot stiffer just in her body. She's pretty long bodied. So it's always about getting her to really round through her midsection. So this is a really great way that I like to kind of test where we're at and get the most benefit before and just instead of being on the pattern all the time, it's a really good exercise. So let's go. Do this even just with one barrel or do two as figure eights or just straight lines. I really like doing ovals. So you can do it without even the barrel being there, but just do a straight line, do the turn, go straight for a bit. So you're making more of an oval than a circle. So I think that's just super important is getting our horses to stay straight and underneath themselves while traveling in a straight line, especially with their shoulder picked up. So we're actually able to approach the barrel and there's no pulling. I don't want to pull my hands and it's more of just a lift and a guide. So my body's kind of shaping. I'm going to ask them to turn around, but I'm using my hand just to guide them. And I know it might be tempting to pull on them to get them to turn, but like at first, it might you might want to do that but it's really important to just kind of stay strong stay true and keep doing it until they understand and listening are listening to your body so when I go straight I just drive straight and then I'm going to adjust my body kind of face into the turn and shape around for the turn and I want to give them enough room especially when you start trotting it it's important to actually give them the room to be successful so I look at it when I'm just I'm just doing a walk as a demo but I just want to walk straight ahead have my inside down a little bit walk straight and she's already like she kind of wants it anyway so I might just counter arc her and I do this all with one hand because now she's actually listening to my body and I mean I just literally got on her so she's probably you know you got to kind of work them work them or warm them up and get them more focused and sharp and she's definitely a lazier horse so she likes to you know take her time so when i go straight i'm going to drive straight adjust and turn and i'll go ahead so i'm going to go straight my body's going straight i'm looking where i want to go have my inside adjust do the turn keep pushing her forward we want perfect circles so we don't want them to be cutting in the turn and that's actually pretty hard to do so straight Pick the shoulder up, drive forward. And I kind of like to do the end sometimes as a third barrel. So straight, I'm driving forward. I might even go to the next one. Like here, she's kind of not moving forward. And this is where forward momentum really comes in is you need to ask them to move ahead. So if you have that problem where your horse is kind of falling in, quite simply drive them forward. Forward, ask for the turn. And she's doing good. She kind of is cutting off a little bit, but I don't mind if they leave a bit tighter. But on the backside and around, we really want to make sure that they're giving themselves enough room. So drive forward till I'm about clear of the barrel. I'm going to sit and ask for the turn. And it's really important. We want to keep our, keep our upper body really straight. And that's how we're going to get a straight line. So here, I'm just going to ask. I'm going to come around, go forward. And I'm gonna like almost tuck my elbow into my side to get her to stand up and then come around. So you definitely have to play around with this to see how you can move your horses. So right here, like she's kind of wanting to fall and not go straight and keeping that shoulder up. And she's definitely been worse to the left. So that's why I'm kind of doing this one as an example. So I'm gonna drive straight. I have my shoulder up. Just kind of look around the turn. Ask her to keep the momentum going. And just kind of shape nicely for the turn. Then go ahead, drive here. I'm kind of driving. She's kind of getting a little stiff and not wanting to hold that shoulder up, but that's totally okay. We're trying to go forward and ahead and then ask for the turn. And just drive forward, guide her, shape. See how she's able to like really, I mean, this is pretty tight, but she's really able to like get that shape we need for the turn. So go forward. And I'm going to ask for the turn. We're going to shape for it. So it's really important with your body to like actually drive forward. My whole body is going straight here. I'm going to face the turn. And what that does, like, like when you watch people talk about perfect circles, you have to shape your body so the horse can shape its body. And same thing with going straight. Like, we got to like sit up tall, ask for the nose and the shoulder and see how easy it is for her to come around. Just because we're preparing her actually for the turn. Okay. Good girl. 
And same thing, if you want to take it the other way, it's kind of important to use one hand and really think of sitting up tall. And think of having the shoulder, like think of the shoulder lifting and moving forward. And I actually talked with this in my latest podcast episode about barrels, how important they are, and things that we can do to make them better. And this is definitely one of them. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to sit up tall. I'm going to drive over the point I want, and then go here, as for the turn. And again, I'm shaping my body because she definitely is a little stiffer of a horse and doesn't want to drive a lot forward. So doing this really instills, like, getting that nose, getting that body shaped, and she's able to come around. So it's okay if they kind of go a bit wide on one spot. Try and leave it straighter. You know, you'd rather give them more room going in, getting them to come around nicely. So I'm going to go straight, one hand, up till I'm ready to turn, ask for a turn, and see how easy that is for her to just, like, set nicely. That's kind of the gist of that exercise. I hope you found that helpful. Please subscribe. If you have any questions, give me a comment. And uh, yeah, that's one of the three barrel drills that I love to do. 